ओम शांति मॉर्निंग मुरली थर्टियथ अगस्त स्वीट लेटर ऑफ बाप दादा फॉर स्वीट स्वीट चिल्ड्रन एस एन स्वीट चिल्ड्रन यू नाउ हैव टू बिकम लाइट हाउसेस इन वन आई यू हैव द लैंड ऑफ लिब्रेशन एंड इन द अदर द लैंड ऑफ लिब्रेशन इन लाइफ सो कंटिन्यू टू शो एवरी वन द पाथ स्वीट चिल्ड्रन यू नाउ हैव टू बिकम लाइट हाउसेज इन वन आई यू हैव द लैंड ऑफ लिब्रेशन एंड इन द अदर द लैंड ऑफ लिब्रेशन इन लाइफ कंटिन्यू टू शो एवरी वन द पाथ क्वेश्चन वट इज द वे टू अकामुलेट एन अकाउंट ऑफ एन इम्पेरिशेबल स्टेटस वट इज द वे टू अकामुलेट एन अकाउंट ऑफ एन इम्पेरिशेबल स्टेटस आंसर Constantly spin the discus of self-realization in your intellect. While moving around, remember your land of peace and your land of happiness. Then, on the one hand, your sins will be absolved, and on the other hand, your account of an imperishable status will accumulate. The father says if you want to become a lighthouse have the land of peace in one eye and the land of happiness in the other eye Song awaken o brides awaken the new age is about to come Om shanti you sweetest children heard the sweet song but the singers must be from the film world whatever they sing about whether it is knowledge deities or god it is all wrong it is all wrong this is called an upside down word allah god sits and explains that you were dangling on the gallows of maya maya has made all the children dangle upside down sorry dangle Maya has made all the children dangal upside down the father comes and makes the children sit the right way up the song is very beautiful who is saying awaken o brides awaken no one can say to the brides of the whole world awaken o brides the new age is about to come there cannot be a single human being in the world who knows this Maya is such that no matter how much you explain to them they don't understand you children know that the new age the new kingdom of the deities are now being established you also understand that the golden age definitely has to come after the iron age this proves that god has to come for the devotees devotees have the desire to meet god so it has to be understood that god will definitely come god will definitely come for half the cycle devotees have been desperate to meet god and so god must give something in the return the devotees know that god grants liberation in life only that purifier will purify everyone so you children have come to know when it is that all souls become pure you remain pure in the golden age when all other souls are living in the land beyond sound you go into the pure age there is no age in the land of nirvana that is beyond these ages such things are in the intellects of you children we definitely reside in the supreme abode the ages are here the term golden age silver age are used here destruction too is remembered they also show the trimurti symbol of the indian government underneath the trimurti they write victory in truth this is the spiritual government the non violent shakti army is also remembered but only in name so you should also have a coat of arms you can write underneath the picture of brahma vishnu and shankar victory in truth it should enter the intellects of you children that we are the children of the pandav government 
others consider themselves to be children so it should enter your intellects how to create the coat of arms this is the word of blind faith whatever they see they say it is god so that is blind faith is it not people say that god is in every particle in fact all human beings have their individual parts to play a soul adopts a body and plays his part it cannot be said that everyone is god does that mean that god is someone who fights and quarrels that is 100% blind faith when a new building is built it is said that it is 100% new an old one would be said to be 100% old bharat was new but the world has now become old there are innumerable religions the contrast is like that of day and night surely there was nothing but happiness in the golden age where the deities ruled the kingdom now in this world there is nothing but sorrow you will see as you go further how much sorrow there will be it is said that there is death for the prey and joy for the hunter it is said that there is death for the prey and joy for the hunter they have simply written this but they don't understand anything no one has mercy when killing another human being the police can file a case against anyone who does something like that look how they kill one another by inventing bombs etc every day they write that so many have died in such and such a place it does not enter anyone's intellect to file a case against them you now understand that this is an old sinful word the golden age is a new word no one causes sorrow for anyone in the golden and silver ages the very name is the golden age heaven paradise people also study is this in the history there was limitless wealth there which was looted for the temple how wealthy those who built the temples would have how wealthy those who built the temples would have been they show golden dwarika they say that it sank beneath the sea you understand how this cycle of the drama rotates the golden age goes below and the iron age comes up this cycle continues to rotate you also have the knowledge of the cycle many people come up with the idea of a cycle but they don't know its duration no one can tell you about the real cycle the whole cycle is in your intellects this is why it is said continue to spin the discus of self realization and your sins will be absolved there are matters of knowledge you understand that when you spin the discus of self realization on the one hand your sins are absolved and on the other hand the accounts of your imperishable status accumulates even then some say we forget to spin the discus of self realization the father says you have to become lighthouses you have to become lighthouses a lighthouse shows the way for others in one name i there is the land of peace and in the other i there is the land of happiness you are now sitting in the land of sorrow you are lighthouses your mantra is man mana bhav and madhya ji bhav the land of peace and the land of happiness you show the path to others you continue to spin this cycle even while moving around let the land of peace and the land of happiness remain in your intellects even while moving around let the land of peace and the land of happiness remain in your intellects when you are in a such stage it is then possible for others to have a vision in fact as soon as they come in front of you they can have a vision 
our work is here there is nothing to do there therefore you children should now practice this we are the lighthouses who show the path we are now in the land of sorrow this is easy to understand <clears throat> this is easy to understand to be a loud lighthouse and to spin the discourse of self realization are the same thing however there are details in this what details in spinning this discourse of self realizations there are two accepts the land of happiness and the land of peace alf is the land of liberation and the b is the land of liberation in life it is very easy the place from where we souls come in the land of peace scientist and those who believe in nature will not understand these things but those who believe in the deities will so it is very good to go to the lakshmi and narayan temples they were the masters of the golden age the land of happiness now it is the iron age they too were human beings it was the kingdom of lakshmi and narayan ask people have you ever listened to the geeta ask people have you ever listened to the geeta those who go to the lakshmi and narayan temple or radhe and krishna temple must also listen to the geeta must also listen to the geeta those who have love for krishna must also have love for the geeta those who go to a lakshmi and narayan temple would not think about geeta as much they understand that lakshmi and narayan were in paradise now it is hell the father comes into hell he comes and establishes heaven the father says remember me remember the land of peace and remember the land of happiness and your boat will go across so first you definitely have to go home okay if someone believes in shri krishna tell him krishna was in the golden age remember that new world break all your connections with this old world you definitely have to become pure there is no one impure there you should create some time of some type of method children right there is a very little service to do here it is very slack the father says there is slackness in the children a great deal of service can be done there are many temples the father says give knowledge to my devotees you also used to be devotees now you are becoming the masters of the land of shri krishna you are becoming the masters of the land of shri krishna remember the land of krishna paradise the kingdom of rama is not called paradise only the kingdom of lakshmi and narayan can be called paradise when you explain they will say it is right there is a great deal of knowledge in these pictures those who look at these pictures with attention will instantly bow to them they will not bow to you but in fact they should bow to you because you are going to becoming those this is why the brahman clan is the most elevated you make effort and become such deities so first you are god's children this period of time is praised if people were sensible they would celebrate the birthday of lakshmi and narayan however they don't know anything about it they simply go to lakshmi and ask her for wealth but they should at least understand their horoscopes they don't even know when they came they show vishnu with four arms that is the combined form of lakshmi and narayan they worship lakshmi and narayan yet they don't know their life stories they don't know their life stories what were they the masters of they are not the masters of the subtle region that is not called the land of vishnu there as there is no word in the subtle region the kingdom of lakshmi and narayan is called a word 
then there is also the word of rama and sita however nothing else is shown about radha and krishna those of islam and the buddhists come in the copper age therefore you children have to explain in detail you children have to explain in detail people remember heaven when someone important dies they say that he has gone to paradise so surely he was in hell because this is why they say he has gone to heaven at this time all are impure residents of hell they have so much intoxication they show that they are millionaires but all are residents of hell the residents of hell bow their heads in front of the residents of heaven so only you children can explain this accurately you are the children of jani jananha the knower of all th- secrets the details of the whole cycle keep spinning in your intellects however when you return home and see the faces of your relatives you forget everything this is why they have hostels in colleges you also have a hostel here here you remain busy studying your intellects are not pulled by mundane business you talk to other students about things of knowledge to stay in hostel makes a lot of difference so you should come to the father quite often to be refreshed you should come to the father quite often to be refreshed don't think you will have to give a donation in return such ones are considered to be foolish baba is the best ever never have the thought that you are giving to baba only serviceable children should come here to be refreshed you chil- children come to baba it is not that you come to a stage or a mahatma and that you have to give a donation never have the thought that you have to give a donation when daughters come do they have money they receive everything at their place of service those who want to make their fortune make effort all others just make excuses i have a job at sector you can get leave you can make some excuse to get leave that is not telling lies there is no one as honest as baba there is no one as honest as baba however children don't value the father that much you receive such a hug treasure baba is not far away wherever you live you can come to be refreshed for your own progress by being refreshed you can also bring benefit to many you have to do service here there is the strength of power of yoga whereas that is physical power here there are no weapons etc don't cast sorrow for anyone show everyone the path to happiness the contrast between the iron age and golden age is like that of day and night ravan's kingdom continues for half a cycle so you children are going to establish the land of happiness never speak harshly never speak harshly if you hear anything like that you must not pay attention to it if you hear anything like that you must not pay attention to it if you listen to something like that you too would then start to speak in that way even a trace of anger causes great damage to get angry with someone means to cause him sorrow the father says if you cause anyone sorrow you will die experiencing sorrow and you will have to endure a great deal of punishment acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bap dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children 
and we spiritual children says namaste good morning to our sweetest spiritual father essence for dharna have regard for the father and this study have regard for the father and this study create methods to refresh yourself from time to time and become an instrument to bring benefit to many second only talk about things of knowledge among yourselves remove any trace of anger if you hear anyone speaking harshly just ignore it today's blessing feel baba's hand on your head and take blessings may you be a blessed image who gives blessing with the cool water of mercy to souls who are under the external influence may you be a blessed image who gives blessing with the cool water of mercy to souls who are under an external influence baba is saying when someone who is burning in the fire of anger comes in front of you when someone who is burning in the fire of anger comes in front of you consider that one to be under an external influence and bless him with the cool water of mercy and bless him with the cool water of mercy don't sprinkle drops of oil on him if you feel any anger towards anyone it is like sprinkling drops of oil on him therefore be a blessed image and give others the blessing of the power of tolerance therefore be a blessed image and give others the blessing of the power of tolerance when you fill yourself with this sanskar in your living form from now you will then become an image that grants blessing through your non living form slogan stay in the pleasure of meeting god and the and the jhamela of maya will finish stay in the pleasure of meeting god and the jhamela of maya will finish om shanti thank you baba